two types of surveys. Let's talk about the first one, a passive survey. When, when you do a passive survey, an application, a site survey application, like one of those two tools that we've mentioned before, it sits and it listens to wireless LAN traffic to detect, for example, active access points, to measure things like the signal strength and also the noise level, right? How much noise? That's going to be always very important. Um, however, the wireless adapter that you're going to be using for the survey, this is important, is not connected to an active SSID, okay? This is very important. So all it's doing, it's kind of, it's like a, it's like a, like a, a network card, a wireless network card, just sitting there, not joined to anything, just like an eaves, eavesdropping in on the conversation, just listening. Okay, what's the noise? Okay, what's the signal strength? Okay, what's this? What's that? Move location? Yeah, that is called a passive survey. In opposition to that, you have the active um, the active survey, right? And for design purposes, um, one or more temporary access points are going to be deployed to identify and qualify uh, access point locations. This is generally the most common method of pre-deployment uh, Wi-Fi survey, right? That, that you're going to do. So there's a place for both and we're not saying one is right and one is wrong. There's a place for both of them. One is just listening to what's going on and give you data. And the other one says, okay, let's put the temporary access points in place. Now let's hear what's going on. And in this case, you're going to join that that uh, that network card that's going to be plugged into your laptop, for example. You're going to join that into an active SSID. And then you can do a little bit more um, a gathering, data gathering, right? You're going to measure things like round trip times. You're going to be measuring things like uh, throughput, you know, throughput rates. So if I upload a file or download a file, what is the throughput rate that I'm going to get? You're going to look at any packet loss. Are you losing packets in the transmission of data? Um, uh, and is there tra retransmission? Are you having a lot of retransmissions? Active um, surveys are generally used to troubleshoot Wi-Fi networks or to verify performance post deployment. OK, so if you've been called in to, to do a survey in an existing thing to troubleshoot, you would probably at that point not go for the passive ones. You'd go for the active surveys because the wireless is up and running. Everything is running, but there are issues with it. And this is going to help you. If your retransmissions are high, ooh, you have a problem. If your data throughput is low, Oh, you have a problem. Let's look at things like noise floor. Um, you know, uh, floor. You know how much how much noise uh, you you your your environment is actually generating. Now, um, during the predictive survey, which is um, something that we also have, the the predictive. This is what I showed you or told you about in uh, in Extreme Cloud IQ. What you're doing is you are. Oops. Let's just go back there. Uh, predictive. What you're doing over here is you are predicting what is going to happen based not on anything other than the attenuation point. So you're not going to be able to see any radio interference from outside or anything else like that. You're not going to be able to see, you know, if you have machinery, for example, on a factory floor, warehouse floor, uh, if you have um, that that's letting off, you know, uh, radio energy and affecting or interfering with your radio uh, signal. Right. So uh, the predictive can only predict what the signal will be like based on the patterns of the access points that you are that you are, are putting out there together with uh, the attenuation that you've drawn out. But it's never going to take uh, uh, interference from machines, from devices, uh, from outside. It's never going to take that off. So the predictive survey or the predictive model uh, um, survey model is is really useful because it gives you an overview, a broad first pass, first look uh, overview at what you might possibly need. 
but it's never enough. You always need the site survey. 